Hi, I'm John with Dean Safe Company, and I want to show you a pretty neat trick today. A lot of us are buying uh, ammunition and stuff uh, and hoarding it, uh, at least out here in California. And on some of the lesser expensive gun safes, this isn't one of them, this is an expensive gun safe, but the shelves are collapsing under the weight. I'm going to show you a quick and easy trick on how to make that thing hold hundreds more pounds than it does right now. Come right we're trying to do a little demonstration here to show you. I got some shelves, uh, unfortunately they're a little narrower and the narrower they are the stronger they are in any given weight. But I put them between two grilling bricks because I happen to have them laying around and uh, put the cheap shelf on there and I've got a, uh, a 90 pound hopper safe. This is one of the stealth uh, 21 14, so you can check it out. It's a 90 pound hopper safe and we're just going to leave it here and we're going to go get a bite to eat. We're going to come back and see what happens because I've seen shelves like this and they're in so many different gun safes. I've seen them collapse over a period of time. I don't know that everybody puts 90 pounds on it, but we're only going to eat for about an hour. So we'll be back and we'll take a look at it. So at first we didn't think it broke because the, the griller brick came out. But then on closer inspection, it did. This is real typical. Now we're going to try a different demonstration. Sorry for the noise. Tired of looking at my bald head. Hang on one second. <laughs> okay, I probably didn't do this as well as I could have, but you get the idea. And, uh, geez, I don't feel... Um, comfortable standing on it. So let me try sitting on it for a minute. Whew. Anyway, you can see this is quite a bit stronger. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure out these things are good. And one of the things you might want to be careful about is on some of the safes, they, I don't think they put the shelf standards in quite as good as they could. So that could be a minor issue that you might run into, but just be aware of it. So, uh, bear with me, we're going to run over into the, one of our other warehouses. We've got a lot of tools over there, and uh, we're going to do a little sawing on some square tubing. Let me show you. So what we've got is we've got 16 gauge square tubing. Um, it's pretty good. I'm, the only reason that's, that's what they had, that's why I'm using 16 gauge. I'm not particularly fussy. And you want to make a nice uh, 45 degrees, so get your scribe out, make a mark, because you're going to be doing a little hack sawing today. Got it, finally. So, you got it at a, at a nice angle. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I'm going to dress this up and then I'm going to paint it and we're ready to go. Okay, we've got them painted, ran out of paint, ran out of square tubing, but I can show you how it works on one of the shelves and well, we'll help another one out too. So it'll work out, it'll be pretty easy. The, the idea is that the square side fits over one of your shelf clips and this side drops down. So let's see if I can do it without um, taking the shelf all the way out. Got it there. No, oh, that's perfect. There's one that's been installed. Let's grab another one here. Let me get it in here first. I don't want to, this is a gorgeous safe. I don't want to screw up the paint job. There we go. This is one you can stand on. And I think you probably noticed from that little demonstration we did earlier that this is going to make all the difference in the world. Thank you so much for watching. Please give me some likes, um, thumbs up. Our website is on a card up here somewhere. So thanks. And I'll see you again probably in a week or two.